de la Sorde is celebrating its 10th anniversary. It was born from the dream of regional integration by former President of Venezuela Hugo Chavez and has since become a global media reference. The International Conference Latin American Communication and Integration from and for the South paid homage to this decade, which has presented what many consider to be a vision different from what is often shown by private media monopolies. In only 10 years, Telesur has become a reference for alternative media on the international stage. We must remember that the media landscape has a very concentrated structure, basically dominated by the North and in countries like the United States where there is little diversity and editorial pluralism. Telesur has looked to break these media barriers and create another story, traditions and coverage which are a reflection of reality. Over 450 panelists and media professionals from around the world participated in the conference organized by CSPAL in celebration of Telesur's 10th birthday. Communication as a human right, public communication policy, and strategies for training journalists were some topics discussed in the conference. It was a space of collaboration and debate where the role of public media and experiences were discussed. I think the powerful thing that Telesur is doing and that's happening across the region is the legislation around public interest programming, around programming in the public interest and the right of people to have a space in the media that is not controlled by corporations. Many panelists highlighted the importance of Telesword as accurately reflecting the realities of progressive governments of the region. Some went as far as to say that Telesur and public media have been formed in such a way that protects national sovereignty in the face of misinformation campaigns and right-wing destabilization attempts. Large private media monopolies act as if sovereignty is a forgotten concept, and it